Hey everyone, in this video, I'll show you how we can add one fragment dynamically to an activity. In our last video, we have created two fragments. One is red, fragment red and one is fragment blue. And we use this fragment tags to add them to one activity. Uh, you need to know a few things before we move to the tutorial. First one is fragment manager. So each activity must derive from fragment activity or we can use app compare activity that we have used for the main activity. This is a subclass of fragment activity. So we can use fragments on these activities. And we need one fragment manager. This manager is used for all these fragment related transactions and get supported fragment manager this method is used to get one fragment manager inside an activity this method is defined in all uh, fragment activity class then we will create one fragment transaction this transaction will hold one fragment and this add method is used to add one fragment to that uh, activity using one transaction next we have one more method that is called add to backstack this method will add this transaction that we have created to one backstack that means we can get this transaction later and we can invert this transaction and finally we use one method it's called commit the, using this method we execute one transaction and this transaction is run on main thread. So we have one fragment manager. We need one fragment transaction. And we need one commit method to commit that transaction. So I'm going to remove these two fragments that we have added to the main activity XML file. And I'm going to add one layout, it's called frame layout. For adding one fragment dynamically, we need one frame layout. I've added this width and height as match parent because it means that it will take the width and height as same as this parent, this layout. So if you click here, you can see that this frame layout is equal to this height and width of this parent. I'm going to give one ID for this layout. Suppose this ID is frame layout. Now, here I'll add one fragment to this frame layout once the activity will create. I'm gonna check for this frame layout if it is available or not. Then if it is not null, that means we have this frame layout with ID this. I'm gonna get one fragment manager using supported fragment manager then I'm gonna use this begin transaction it returns me one fragment transaction then I'm gonna use this add method it takes two parameters the first is the layout where we want to add this fragment and second is the fragment Suppose I need this red fragment. This is the red fragment. We have created one instance of red fragment. And finally, we need to commit this transaction. Now, if I run it on one emulator, 
you can see that this red fragment is added where we have this frame layout. So if you want to write this in multiple steps, we can do it like fragment manager. We can get the fragment manager and we can use this fragment manager to create one transaction. then we can use this fragment transaction to add the new fragment and finally we can use this transaction to commit it note that we can use one same manager for different types of transactions but we need different transactions for different fragments now let's add two buttons here i'm gonna add some margin top dp then i'm gonna move to this And I'm dragging two buttons. I'll align them to top. I'm changing the name as red fragment red and this one as blue and if the user will click on this red then we will replace this part as red fragment and if we click here this blue button then we will replace this as blue fragment So here we need two methods in main activity for that. I'm gonna search for on click and I'll add on click red. This method will be called whenever the user will click on this red button. And for blue, on click blue. Now let's move to this XML layout. And here you can see that it's marked with uh, underline with red. That means we don't have this method yet created on main activity. So let's hover over this and click on this more action and click on this create on click red in main activity. It will create this method here. Similarly, we don't have this on click blue click on this more action and click on this it will create both inside this method we need to replace the current fragment with fragment red i'm just going to copy paste this same part similarly here we need to replace it with fragment blue i'm going to use frag blue fragment here and red fragment here so we have created one fragment manager then 
we created one fragment transaction we add this fragment to this transaction and we use commit to commit that transaction we had one more method it's called add to backstack and it is used to add one transaction to backstack this method is used on fragment transaction here you can see this is the method add to backstack and we can give a name for the transaction that we are adding to the backstack for now i am just giving it as null I'll show you in details in another video how we can add one fragment to break state and how we can pop it back. So for now, just I'm adding it as null. Now, if I rerun this app, click here, and you can see that these fragments are replaced. So that's for now. On next video, I'll talk about fragment direction and in more details of other fragment related methods.